Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite Shipper perfumes. Shipper is probably my favorite perfume genre or style of perfume, whatever you want to call it, classic style, classic French perfumery. But anyways, I don't want to get too, too much into the technical parts of it because there are so many videos about it out there about the composition and everything the patchoulis the oak mosses the labdanos the bergamots you know what it is you know what a ship is but anyways i'm gonna show you all my favorite cheaper perfumes i own at the moment and some i really want to have so let's go ahead and talk about it let's start with this beauty right here femme by Rocha. The original eau de toilette was made by edmund rudnitska in the 40s during the second world war and then in the 80s, uh, Olivier Cresp made the Eau de Parfum when they re-released it. Yeah, the same guy who made Angel by Thierry Mugler. <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing, what can I say, fruity, animalic, Shipra. It's just absolutely incredible. The fruits are so honeyed and overripe. It's just, uh, what can I say, it's beautiful. This bottle, I believe, is from the 90s. Please correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but I do believe it's from the 90s. It's a vintage bottle. Just stunning, stunning. One of my all-time favorite perfumes ever. What can I say? Femme by Rocha, Eau de Parfum. Another painfully beautiful ship race, Miss Dior Eau de Toilette by Dior. I also believe this is a vintage bottle. Uh, the new version is called Miss Dior Original. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I've tried that one, or I don't remember trying it at least. But this is just beautiful. Also from the 40s, really green Shipra. There is Galbanum in the opening, and then it goes into this very clean, green, airy uh, territory. It's just stunning, stunning, stunning. One of the most, uh, one of the prettiest Shipras I've ever smelled. Just stunning. Miss Dior Eau de Toilette. The next one is. Cabochard by Grey. This is the Eau Toilette, the new formulation. They also made an even newer edition, or they changed the bottle actually, and I think it looks better than the new one, honestly. I really don't like the bottle, but anyways, the, I mean the bow, I don't like it. But the juice, oh my god, this is a leathery, herbal, green, sheep rights, soapy too. There is this hint of sweetness. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing, amazing me. I love it so much. Capuchat by Gre. It was made in the late 50s by Bernard Chant. Yeah, amazing fragrance. Also really cheap, super cheap this one. Oh, this is niche quality. This is what niche houses recreate and sell for a thousand euros. Trust me, trust me you, this is amazing. Cabochard by Grey. Amazon by Hermes. This is the vintage Parfum 2.5 ml. Oh my god. This is another green Shipra with a lot of Galbanum in the opening. And then it goes into this Calyx. If you know Calyx by uh, Clinique. The, it has that type of almost cough syrupy like fruity sweetness about it. I just love it so much. Amazon by Hermes. Another great Shipra. Next one is the stunning... Number 19 by Chanel. I know some would say this is not a Shipra, it's a green floral, but it does have a Shipra uh, elements. It, it's a green Shipra to me, actually. It, there is a lot of Galbanum in the opening, Iris. It's just amazing. One of Chanel's most amazing perfumes. Number 19, Eau de Toilette. I also love the Eau de Parfum, the Parfum too. Every concentration of number 19 is just incredible. The next one is also by Chanel. It's... Cristal Eau de Parfum, probably my favorite Chanel perfume and probably my all-time favorite perfume too. I don't know, I just love Cristal so much. It's a 90s Eau de Parfum take on the original Eau de Toilette that came out in the 70s. The original Eau de Toilette, it's not really a ship, it's more of a aromatic type of woodsy floral fragrance. But this one is definitely a ship, this is a... Very fruity ship and the oak moss in here is very smoky. It almost smells like a smoker is wearing a eau de cologne, a citrus eau de cologne. That's what it smells like to me. I just love it so much. Cristal Eau de Parfum by Chanel. The next one is Aromatics Elixir by Clinique. My, probably my second favorite perfume ever. I don't really talk about it that much, but this is definitely a perfume I absolutely adore. It's probably one of the most complex shippers I know of. It's very... 
There are a lot of notes in here. <laughs> it's clean, it's soapy, it's mossy, there's a lot of patchouli, but there are also very dry elements in this one. It's, it, it can be too much if you overspray it, this can go really wrong. You can smell like a musty, wet carpet or socks or something. <laughs> if you overspray this one, definitely. But if you dose it right, you, you're going to smell absolutely amazing and herbal and green and clean and soapy. It's just one of the most amazing, if not the best Cypress ever made. The next one is literally a bump in a bottle. It's Knowing by Estee Lauder. Uh, I already reviewed this one, I'm going to post the link down below if you want to watch it, go ahead and do it. Uh, what can I say about this one? Patchouli, rose, oak moss, <laughs> it's, it's a bomb in a bottle, I already said it, it's just incredible. Knowing by Estee Lauder or the Parfum. The next one is Etienne Aigna. I already reviewed this one, I'm, I'm also going to post the link down below, go ahead and watch it. Another amazing... Sweet it is rosy Shupra is just really great, a great fragrance and also a chippy. Great, great, great. Next one is Pour Monsieur Eau de Parfum by Chanel. This is probably the prettiest smelling, the most beautiful smelling Chanel perfume ever, honestly. Uh, some would say this is not a Shupra, but to me it is a Shupra. It does have Fougere elements too, but it's also a Shupra, it's not just a Fougere. Uh, it's just amazing this one. There is lavender, a lot of lemon. It smells like lemon pie at times <laughs> But the longevity is not the best honestly. It's just I don't know It stays very close to the skin and 30 minutes later. It's gone Am I the only one who has problems with this one? Longevity problems? Let me know in the comments down below But anyways, Pour Monsieur de Parfum. Gorgeous. So is the other toilet. And this last part of the video is going to be uh, modern Shipras, new Shipras, or perfumes that have a Shipra-like character, <laughs> if that makes any sense, but anyways. The first one is Chance Eau de Toilette by Chanel. This is a very fruity, fro floral Shipra. There is a lot of uh, pineapple in the opening, I really love the pineapple. There is a lot of patchouli in here, jasmine. It, there is also this layered musk. A chord going through the entire composition is very musky, but there is also vanilla in here, a lot of vanilla. It's a, I don't know, it's a simpler take on Shipra. It's a very simple, fresh, modern Shipra. Chance or the Toilet. The next one is also by Chanel, it's number 19, Poudre. Well, some may say this is also not a Shipra, but to me it is a Shipra, it's a very modern, clean, uh, powdery Shipra and as I said before this has very little to do with Chanel it smells like a Guerlain perfume it has some elements of number 19 but at the same time not really there's a there is also galbanum in this one iris and there's a lot of tonka bean in here I, I sometimes don't really like that very intense tonka dry down at least on my skin but I love it too I'm not gonna lie I really like number 19 putre Let's finish with the Chanel ones. The next one is Beige by Chanel. Yeah, I know this is not a Shipra, but it does have a Shipra-like character. It's very similar to, let me show you, to Allure or the Toilette by Chanel. They don't necessarily smell the same, but you can tell it's inspired by this one. It's a, I don't know, it's like a flanker of this one, a, a more floral, honeyed white floral flanker of Allure and Allure also goes back to Cristal Eau de Parfum it's like a dumbed down version of a Shipra there is a lot of honeysuckle in this one peach, a lot of vanilla but still it has that Shipra core to it but it's not really a traditional Shipra of course I mean come on but it's a really great fragrance it, it's the mother of uh, Coco Mademoiselle, Chance, uh, and all the others that came after. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, those were the last Chanel ones that are not necessarily Shipras, but they have a Shipra-like character. This is a honeyed, uh, almost acidic, white floral. I like Pesh, the other parfum, not the other toilet. Yeah. Next one is this Kenki Ho by Vivian Westwood Boudoir. This is a masterpiece, and again, 
I know this is not a Shupra, uh, but this has a Shupra-like character actually. It's a very dirty, bubblegummy type of. Uh, oh, I don't want to say it, but what 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 word do I want me to use? Like, let's come up with a proper word for it. Oriental floral. I know Oriental. It's not. People don't want to use it, and there is a reason why they don't, they don't want to use it, but let's find a, a proper word for it, you know. Uh, so it's like a oriental floral with a shipra character. It's like a... It has that skanky 80s shipra honeyed type of thing going on about it. <laughs> I just love this one so much. I don't know what to say about it. It's just... Is she a skanky hoe? She really is. I love it so much. Mmm, it smells like shit. I call it that. And the last one I'm going to show you is, as some call it, a neo shipper is Narcisa Rodriguez for her, the Eau de Toilette. This is probably my favorite modern perfume release in the past 20 years. It's just, it's, it's amazing this one. I don't care for the Eau de Parfum, but the Eau de Toilette is just a masterpiece in my eyes. This is a Francis Gurdjian creation, patchouli. White florals, a lot of clean white musk, amber. I believe there is labdanum in here, but it's not listed. Oh, girl, child, this is this is it. This is sophistication. This is class. This is where it's at. Truly, Natasha Rodriguez for her. One of my all-time favorite perfumes ever. This is sophistication. This is class. This is where it starts. And the ones I don't really have bottles of at the moment, but I would really love to have them, are Eau de Soie by Sisley, another really amazing green chipra, and Maginoa by Lancome. That one is just oof, amazing. I tried the vintage Eau de Toilette and I was mesmerized by it. It's just amazing. I tried to find a pure perfume on on a second-hand website. I don't want to say it anymore. I'm not giving them free promo. Uh, yeah, I, I got outbid twice on the same item. Can you believe it? For 50 cents. Someone gave 50 cents more and I lost the bid. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, those are the ones I would really love to have and I, I think they're amazing perfumes. Odessa and Maginoa. So that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think about the perfumes I showed you in the comments down below. Let's start a conversation. Do you like Shipras? Do you like the perfumes I showed? Let me know. So that's it, you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram. It's the same username as here, Emilio. Go follow me there if you want. So I post perfume pictures, sometimes mini films and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching and 